Hey guys, Nick Espinosa, your chief security fanatic here, and I'm sorry I've missed the last couple of days, including my typical Sunday breaches of the week, but I'm actually out of town and the internet kind of sucks here, and so we'll see how long it's going to take me to actually upload this video, uh, but it is Monday and we're going to be doing breaches of the week through Sunday like we normally do. I'm just a day late here. I've been very busy this weekend. I am actually starting my next book, so here we are, but... I want to get to the news, which is the breaches of the week, and I think you guys will enjoy this because it's absolutely nuts. Now, we're going to be talking about a company called CityComp. They are an IT infrastructure provider out of Germany, and they recently published uh, publicly a statement that said that they had, and I quote, successfully fended off a hacker attack. But if you continue to actually read their statement and get in kind of the fine print, their statement, they start using phrases in the vein of they will not yield to blackmail, and the publication of customer data could not be prevented. And so here's what happened. CityComp is an IT provider for companies like massive airplane manufacturer Airbus, massive electronics maker Toshiba, massive software company Oracle, massive car maker Volkswagen, massive sports car maker Porsche, and on and on. You see where I'm going with this. And so that is a very serious issue because we have some of the world's largest corporations using CityComp for infrastructure. And we are not done with this story because the hacker who goes by the name, and I quote, Boris Bullet Dodger, interesting name, basically hit their infrastructure in a very sophisticated attack and was able to successfully exfiltrate 300,000 files in over, in, in over 51,000 folders and then attempted to ransom this information back to CityComp for $5,000, which seems insanely low given that we are talking about literally Airbus and Volkswagen, Oracle, Porsche. I mean, come on. So there you go. That is what is going on with CityComp, and that has been dominating data breach news this past week. And so if you are not familiar or you've heard stories of, well, I heard massive corporations were breached, this is literally what is going on, and that is primarily the news of the day. Now, we are not done because even though they are dominating, there have been a couple more other interesting things I think you guys should know about. The next one is Inmediata. Now, they are officially or formally Inmediata Health Group. They had a misconfigured website, which leads to a HIPAA disclosure because they had a data breach, which obviously affected some of their patients and all of that. But that is pretty par for the course. What makes Inmediata interesting is the aftermath of the data breach. Now, when they started sending out data breach notifications, which is required for HIPAA compliance to affected patients slash victims, these patients started stating basically that they were getting notifications multiple times but many of these notifications were actually addressed to different people, which again then becomes a HIPAA breach in the sense that you are notifying somebody and giving somebody else, uh, or rather somebody else's information is what you're getting, at least their name, and so that you know they're also a patient of Inmediata. So guys, you really need to handle this properly, and hopefully they'll get this cleaned up, and hopefully you are not affected by that. From what I understand, they're very heavily used in the state of Michigan. And finally, I want to talk about one more thing that I found was absolutely interesting because I think it opens up really a can of worms to, to how we can ethically or how we should ethically handle data. And so this Breaches of the Week, I think, is just the most fascinating Breaches of the Week, primarily because I think it's really opening up philosophical questions here. But we're going to be talking about a man named Luke Field, and this is coming out of Ireland. Here's what happened with Luke. <clears throat> he found data containing patient names and details of surgical procedures on the pavement, literally in Cork, which is a city in Ireland. He found this on Friday, April 26. Now, he attempted to report this uh, data protection to the data protection officer in the HSE South, which I'm guessing is the health services for Ireland, um, but it was closed for the weekend. April 26th was a Friday, and so he couldn't get a hold of anybody. So what he did, that, what he then did, was he contacted Cork University Hospital because basically this was patient data relating to there, um, and he was advised by a staff member of Cork University Hospital to return the data to a reception in a sealed envelope, and that it would be processed after the weekend. Now. Mr. Field, who interestingly enough, is also a candidate for parliament um, on the labor ticket, apparently, is just is so interesting. Um, 
So basically, he said that he held off on returning the document as he wanted to hand it back to someone with, and I quote, with direct data protection responsibility. So he decided then to contact the media to highlight the delay he encountered when trying to report the find to the appropriate official. And there was no, basically, there was no out of hours contact service for, you know, critical health information. Now, the HSE, this is the health services of, uh, of Ireland or so, uh, basically said that because Mr. Field voluntarily disclosed the data to a third party, the Irish examiner, that is the media outlet he went to, this constituted uh, an unauthorized disclosure of personal data that Mr. Field was now obligated to report on his own as, as a further data breach to the Data Protection Commissioner. So now basically he is being accused of and fined for disclosing a data breach that he was attempting to, to disclose. Now, should he have gone to the media? I think that's probably the big question, but it seems like everything else, assuming that Mr. Field is telling the truth, he tried to do his due diligence on, and now here he is being accused of a data breach by the, uh, by the state health authority. And so I found that absolutely interesting. So we have one of the largest infrastructure providers hosting the largest uh, corporations getting hit. That's all over the news. You know, we've got a breach on top of a breach, uh, you know, here in the United States when they're sending out the wrong things. And now we have a breach on top of a breach when a person apparently tried to do the wrong thing and then tried to highlight the errors and flaws in the system only to have the system snap back and fine and charge him. So those are your breaches of the week. I thought this was pretty interesting and I think you guys might enjoy that. So that is your news of the day and your breaches of the week. And sorry, I'm a day late. We'll be back to our regular schedule starting on Wednesday. I'm going to try to get a video out, but tomorrow is my last day of isolation and writing. So with that, take it for what it's worth. And please like, share, follow me here on Facebook and Twitter at Nick AESP. And as always, stay safe and stay online. Thanks, guys.